Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Hayunisi Aini I come from International Program of Accounting 2016 And I will move to the next chapter About Financial Reporting of Foundation Organization We will move to the materi Now, I will explain about the basic law of foundation entities In Indonesia, foundation are regulated in law number 28 of 2004 concerning am- amendment to law number 16 of 2001 concerning of foundation. The foundation is an uh, entity legal consisting of asset that all supported and intended to achieve goals certain the social, religious, and humanitarian field which do not have member. In, ter- in term of foundation world, article 26 regulate that the foundation world come from a number of assets which are separate in the form of money or good and can be obtained from donation, non-binding or assistant, wakof, grant, wills, and other gain that do not conflict with the foundation article of association and or the prevailing law and regulation. And there is a characteristic of foundation entities. The first one is the resort of non-profit entity come from donors who do not expect the expect repayment payment or benefit economical that are comparable to the amount of resource provided. The second is produce good and or service without the aim of fostering profit and if entity non-profit generate profit the amount is not shared with the founders or owner of the non-profit entity and the last is there is no ownership as usual in business entity in the sense of ownership in a non-profit entity cannot be sold transfer or redeem or ownership does not reflect a proportion of the proportion of the division of non-profit entity resort during liquidation or dissolution of non-profit entities the next is foundation finance uh, article 49 stipulates that within a period of no later than five months from the death of foundation book year the management is of like to prepare a written annual report containing at least two things the first is report on condition and activities of the foundation during the past financial year and the result achieved and the second is financial statement consisting of statement of financial position at the end of the period activity rep- report cash flow statement and financial statement notes The next is foundation financial accounting. Uh, the basic implementation of financial accounting foundation is a statement of accounting standard financial PSA key number uh, 45 about accounting for non-profit organization with the existence of standard reporting. It is hoped that the foundation organization financial statement can be more easily easily understood, have relevance and have high comparability the user of foundation itself financial statement have a common interest in order to assess the service provide the foundation and its ability to continue the provider service this and the way the manager carry out the responsibility and other aspect of the performance foundation In detail, the objective of foundation financial statement are to present information about amount and asset, liabilities and net asset of a foundation, influence of transaction, event and other situation that change the value and nature of asset net, and type and amount of inflow and outflow of resort for one period and the relationship between the two. And the next is the way of foundation earn and spend cash, obtain loan and repay loans, and other factors that influence its liquidity. And the last is a foundation service business. Uh, it can be observed that uh, the financial statement of foundation organization are similar to business organization except of three main things, namely a uh, non-profit organization do not have income statement uh, the next is 
uh, non-profit organization do not have a report on change in equity are as an as are business organization this is because non-profit organization are not owned by entity any equity is non-profit organization can be analogous to the net asset and will presented in the activity report the component in financial position report include asset uh, cash and cash equivalent receivable stock and land building and equipment and the next is liability including trade debt prepaid income and long-term debt and in the presentation the obligation remain fixed based on the maturity period and the third is net asset net asset including unrestricted net asset net asset are temporarily bound and net asset net asset are permanent permanently bound and this is the financial uh, financial report of uh, foundation entity I will show you later the recording model is known as the accounting equation to classify a post or transaction a chart that contain an account or estimate is used or is called a list of account code number chart of account and we need to underline that the effect of transaction on the left and right side must be balanced well as the final res result or balance must be balanced uh, it is same with asset equal to li liabilities plus net asset and the component of code in the chart of account uh, the first is reporting reporting classification according to PSAK number 45 uh, including asset uh, nature of resort fund class of transaction of each asset type of transaction of each transaction group and the next is transaction detail and for the additional classification is classification of donor institution name or source of funds classification of activities or program and classification of division in organization and or operation area and for to the financial position report the, there is a classification of asset and liability the first one is liability information is provided in the following manner uh, presenting asset based on the order of liquidity and li liability based on the maturity debt uh, group asset into, into current non-current and liability in the short of long term and the last is disclose information regard regarding liquidity of asset or at maturity in liability including restriction or the use of asset and the next is classification of bone in unrestricted net asset the statement of financial position position so the amount of each group of net asset based on the presence of or absence of restriction by donor namely um, permanent bound net asset temporary net asset unrestricted net net asset and the last is information regarding the nature and amount of repayment or temporary restriction in this clause by presenting the amount in the financial statement or in the note to the financial statement the next is activity report the main purpose of an activity report is to provide information about the effect of transaction and other event that change the number and nature net of net asset, the, res the relationship between transaction and other event, how to use resource in the implementation of various program or service, and the information in the activity report which is used in conjunction with disclose information in other financial statement can help donor, member organizational, creditor, and other party to evaluate performance in period, uh, asset effort, capability, and organizational sustainability and providing service, and assessing the implementation of manager responsibility and performance. And this is the financial position report of uh, activity report. I will show you after this. Next is cash flow statement. 
uh, the main purpose of the cash flow statement is to provide information about receive and cash disbursement in a period. The cash flow statement is presented in accordance with uh, PSAK number two concerning the statement of cash flow with the following addition. The first is financing activity. Uh, financing activity means that cash received from donor was used in restricted for the long term. Cash received from the donation and investment income was used in restricted to acquiring, building, and maintaining fixed asset or increasing fund endowment. And I will show you the form of cash flow statement. Cash flow statement is presented in accordance with PSAK number two concerning cash flow statement with the following addition. The first one is funding activity, uh, including cash received from donor, whose use is restricted from the long term. And the second is cash received from donation and investment income. Uh, and the third is interest and dividend that are restricted for the long term. And the second is disclosure of information regarding of non-profit investment and financing activity, donation in the form of building or investment asset. And the last is uh, the example of organization that apply the accounting foundation. Uh, the first, the first is our manage hospital and education. Okay, might be enough my presentation. I'm sorry if there is some mistake. Uh, thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.